The Trecento refers to the 14th century in Italian cultural history. Period. Art Commonly the Trecento is considered to be the beginning of the Renaissance in art history. Painters of the Trecento included Giotto di Bondunz, as well as painters of the Sienese school, which became the most important in Italy during the century, including Duccio di Buon and Segna, Simone Martini, Lippo Memma, Ambrogio Lorenzetti and his brother Pietro. Important sculptors included two pupils of Giovanni Pisano, Arnifo di Cambio and Tino di Camino, and Bonino da Campion. Vernacular writing The Trecento was also famous as a time of heightened literary activity, with writers working in the vernacular instead of Latin. Dante, Petrarch and Boccaccio were the leading writers of the age. Dante produced his famous La Divina Commedia, a summation of the medieval worldview, and Petrarch wrote verse in a lyrical style influenced by the Provençal poetry of the troubadours. Secular music and music The Trecento was a time of vigorous activity in Italy, as it was in France, with which there was a frequent interchange of musicians and influences. Distinguishing the period from the preceding century was an emphasis on secular song, especially love lyrics. Much of the surviving music is polyphonic, but the influence of the troubadours who came to Italy Fleeing the Albigensian Crusade in the early 13th century is evident. In contrast to the artistic and literary achievements of the century, Trecento music flourished in the second half of the century, and the period is often extended into the first decades of the 15th century. As a so-called long Trecento, musicians and composers of the Trecento included the renowned Francesco Landini, as well as Maestro Piero, Gerardello da Firenze, Jacopo da Bologna, Giovanni da Casca, Paolo, Tenorista, da Firenze, Niccolo da Perugia, Bartolino da Padova. Antonio Zaccarà da Teramo, Matteo da Perugia, and Johannes Siconia.